We used to live just by the, the corner shop. Me and my mum used to go there when she wanted her groceries. She used to get bacon, which was sliced and, and then weighed. And I remember the potatoes, different back then, you know, they were put into small boxes and, and wrapped up and the sugar was also weighed out and then put into blue plastic bags. I remember mum used to cut out her tokens, um, the ration tokens to pay the shopkeeper. And I said, oh, mum, can I have some sweets? And she always used to say no next week. And oh, I didn't like that. I was five then and you know, that corner shop, it's, it's changed now. It's not like it was then. Mm, yes, yeah. There were always queues. My grandmother would always have her Russian books ready for when she went shopping. And I would stand and watch her chatting to the assistant and asking for her groceries. I remember her asking for a loaf of bread. Uh, it was a huge loaf. It wasn't sliced. And it was a huge loaf of bread. We took it home and sliced the bread using a sharp knife and then we buttered the bread. Today, you don't have to do that as the bread is already sliced. It's so nice to eat. I remember when we got the ration books, which was something new. We had, um, the, well, the, the ration tokens for food and the coupons for clothing. We didn't get much. It was quite poor, really. Um, the wife knows more about the, the, the food side of things. We used to get a, you know, a slither of butter and an egg each. Um, what else do we used to get? Or oh, bread, yeah, we used to get a small loaf and it's a bit black really, I think that was because of the flour. And a number of things, the wife knows, she knows everything about that side of things really. Um, for clothing, you had one coupon for a tie. Trousers, there were about five coupons. You had to be careful, you know, you couldn't spend them all at once, you had different months, you had like May and then coupons for June. And my mother, she used to say to me, be careful, don't use them all, don't cut them all out. Because, you know, if you want a coat or something, you need seven coupons. And you wouldn't have much left then. Yeah. It was 1939, November the 3rd, that's when the war started. I remember, you know, it was in deaf school. The kids were all up in the dorm and I was there. We was in bed and the sirens would go off and the teachers would come in and wake us all up and said, come on, follow us. You know, the planes are coming. So we'd all scurry down the stairs and we'd need to go into the cellar. You know, we'd go into the cellar and it smelt, had the vaulted ceilings and it's quite damp and musty. There was, you know, rugs on the floor with straw, you know, shoved underneath and that's what we used to lay down and sleep on. We had pillows and stuff as well. The teacher said, be quiet and be still. I remember the smell and I said to him next 